Ready for the clap? Yeah, it's recording. Three, two, one. No one clapped. I, I clapped. clapped. Oh shit, I couldn't hear you claps, but it'll be on your recording, never mind. Yeah, we probably um, did right, all okay. the exact same time. <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. But, yeah, fucking... Right, so we just recorded like 30 minutes of a podcast, but um, Aiden's recording fucked up. Yeah. Sorry about that. My my laptop's a bit my laptop's a bit fucked. But we uh yeah, what can you do? Stalin fucking was here, but he has had to go. So we're just gonna fucking record another bit. Yeah. Uh, later on probably. Or it's a mystery where, where he's about, gone. It's a complete mystery where dunlin has gone. We don't know. He's gone to get the bag. <laughs> he's gone to get the bag. He's gone to get bag. He's gone to get the wine. <laughs> bag meaning. <laughs> But bag me in Bugle though. He just started doing loads of coke. He went to London and just started doing loads of Bugle. Yeah, that's all they say about the the London. Yeah, I think that's what they they call Dullen now, isn't it? Bugle Dullen. I think that's his nickname. Bugle man. <laughs> he's been uh, he's been blowing that Bugle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they call him when they introduce him in his boxing fights. I thought you were going to say in his boxes, and I was like, <laughs> what is he on about? <laughs> what was he on about? That's just your imagination wondering a bit while they're... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's some, yeah, I think it's something Freudian going on with Elliot's brain. Yeah, so, to be honest, <laughs> some pretty good fucking chats going on. But, I mean, yeah, that... there's, no, there's no trouble to it. We can just fucking carry on with it. We can carry on with it. The Mikey Miles one was fucking crazy. I don't know if anyone knows Mikey Miles. Probably not. I think we need Mikey to. Miles. We need. We definitely. Someone want to explain him? Just like a little, re- uh, a little Mikey Miles. Because no one knows about him. He's not well known, but he is like a cult. He's, got he's a cult. cult yeah, he's a cult like, icon. I'd say. And everyone that does follow him knows everything about him. And Woody Allen. And also, tra- Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. He's, yeah. he's a... He looks like the love child of Woody Allen and, <laughs> and um, Travis Bickle. He also looks like Chicken Boy. You know that? Chicken Have you ever seen that video? Chicken Boy. Like, yeah. Of course, I know what Man, it is. Chicken it sounds, Little. It sounds fucked. You want to eat some chicken? Mate, fucking go on YouTube and find out or find search up Chicken Boy. Chicken Boy. Yeah, he's coasty as fuck. I like Chicken Boy. Chicken yeah, Boy. Yeah, Mike, Mikey's a, a weird... Yeah, a weird character, I'd say. He's got character to him. I'll put him behind yeah, us. He's a... Yeah, I'll put him behind us. Behind us on the sofa. He's a man of many faces. Yeah. Get a cardboard cut out of him. The angel searching devil. That's what I'd call him. Yeah. He is Jesus' reincarnation. <laughs> But he is Satan as well. He's he's a mix of both. It's a dichotomy of him. Mm. He, he's no perfect man. That's just yeah, <laughs> by any means, he's no perfect man. <laughs> but jeez, can he dance? But, yeah, I'd I'd find him. He's a lustful man. He he he, he has that kind of characteristic yeah. about a picture of him in the drone yes, that, that's his, where he's like completely that's naked movie. you can see his tattoo and he's staring at the camera he's got the drone over his car yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's his only vice is his um his vice is just his fucking yeah last. it used to be like him that's and his it. like his pants and stuff and now everything it's, else is holy yeah now, now it's just like you, you can see everything except like his cock yeah you might, you might even, if you're lucky, you might have a little ball sp- like peeking out. <laughs> if you look hard enough. She's got little balls oh. peeking out. You back now, fellas? Oh, we back. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The way I tell is yeah, if we're my back. fucking we're back. little green circle comes up around my name when I'm yeah, speaking. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mine's been so fucking hard. I can hear you. There you go. Bought it. Just bought oh, Game Pass. Uh, yeah, no. I just yeah, bought it. Yeah, yeah, download it. Bought it on eBay. Yeah, I bought like a, bought a dirty Russian 
Stolen code. <laughs> I don't know where these codes come from, because I'm getting like, I can get game class off the floor. 30 pound mark. Brown's all like, wobbly. Why are they wobbly? Wobbly, wobbly. You're a tough critic of your own craft. <laughs> Mate, I'll call you artisan about it. Artisan. Artisan. <laughs> it's an artisan brownie, mate. It's an artisan brownie, mate. Yeah. You know why I call it that? It's a story. <laughs> it's not really beautiful. It's not really beautiful graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a meal, bro. Fucking a meal. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Yeah, what else, what else were we talking about during the, uh, the fucking lost footage? <laughs> lost the footage, yeah. Lost footage. Yeah, the lost, <laughs> lost footage. I reckon if you listen to your audio after, maybe it might pick up. I don't know, I'm not, I don't reckon it will pick up my voice all very well at all. But, um, might be worth a look. Might be worth a little. Just oh, well, I, I got rid, I got rid of my, my recording, so... Uh, yeah, I believe that shit. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that's fine, man. Yeah, but it, it truly is the lost footage. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's in the, the, whatever you want to call it, the hype. The annals of history. It's in the fucking nether realm. <laughs> you know that episode of The Simpsons where he just goes into that, like, yeah, space? that's a weird episode, and it's all, like, got green shit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And Matt Groening took too much acid. But you got Alan Watts. You got Alan Watts to fuck up. Not him again. That's, we can't do Alan Watts. Wait, yeah, Ellie, you're gonna me you mentioned uh, that you, you, what was it, read Ham on Rye by Buchanan. Nice. That was a fucking nice segue. Thank you. you hear that shit? That was Thank a good you. segue. <laughs> I was like. This guy should be a radio. <laughs> Oh, I was just, oh, I was praying. I see you mentioned Alan Watts. You, uh... <laughs> I was, pr I was praying that we wouldn't mention Alan Watts, <laughs> and I was like, we need to get out of this hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck in a loop. Yeah. We're just talking about Alan Watts all the time. <laughs> Elgar. Elgar. I'm at my lowest point. Is Elgar. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Watts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, let's talk about that, Bukowski. Um, yeah, it's fucking good, bro. It's bang as fuck. But there's some fucking strange bits in it, though. Like, he talks a lot about fucking strange shit. Like, there was a bit in it where, like, this guy, I think I sent the picture of it to you, that uh, cat. The one where the guy's, like, tossing off a dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is in a semi autobiographical book, by the way. It was so, a bit. Um, it was a bit about that you read to me that I, I fucking found really strange. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jacking up in the back of his class. Yeah. <laughs> so like the English teacher, they all think he's fucking hot, like hot, and she just like pulls her skirt up a little bit, and then uh, Charles Bukowski's in fucking class, and like this guy just starts fucking beating his, beating his fucking chicken. He starts choking his chicken, <laughs> and um. He just describes it in such a fucking funny way. But yeah, there's so much shit like that. Because he is, yeah, he's weird, but he's very entertaining. So with, like in the whole mm. in the whole book, it's actually like, so you say it's like semi autobiographical. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think most of his books are. Is, there, is it just like a, basically half a documentation of the shit he's been through, or what? Well, actually, yeah, that's that's all it is basically. It just talks about him growing up, like. Yeah, I don't him. understand it. I do, I think there's a skill in that. How is if you break it down to like what he's writing about, it's quite like ordinary stuff. Like, it's it's just about his life. It's like working at a post office and writing a bit. So it's it yeah, it's just, and getting drunk and then passing out. And then writing. 
good author there. You can make a major fucking readable book out of that. Mm. Mm. There's a bit in this book where, like, he goes around to his friend's house and, like, they get really fucking drunk and, like, they just start chilling. And his friend, like, passes out. Which reminded me of me and Dylan. His friend passes out. <laughs> yeah. And then Charles Bukowski waited for his mate's friend, uh, his mate's mum to come home. And was trying to get it on with his friend's mum. <laughs> and then, she fucking went for it. And fucking, she was like, Oh, you fucking, you want a bit of this? You want a bit of this? And fucking, he was like, nah. When it comes Pushing down out, to the crunch time. Don't do it. To the crunch. crunch. But well, was well, Kikowski. I don't know why I called him that. He, he's taken a uh, he's taken a light day trip to the crunch. A little day trip to the crunch. Yeah. <laughs> Never truly the crunch. Done. Fucking crunch. it's just it's just Richard Ayada in that fucking episode. It's great. <laughs> he's actually my favourite. I love Richard Ayada. Funny funny comedian man. He is a Renaissance man. <laughs> he's the mo- most Renaissance man. I know. I can think of. So you boys watch the uh, like eight out of ten cats does countdown shit. All the clips on YouTube. Yeah. I do watch that. Yeah, it's funny. I like Sean Locke. Yeah, Sean Locke's fucking yeah, funny yeah. as fuck. Some quality, quality bits from Sean Locke. I feel like he's just like some kind of. It's always as if he just speaks whatever the fuck's on his mind. It just happens to be hilarious at <laughs> times. It, none of it seems like pre-planned or anything. It's just like he just says what he wants to say, and it ends up being like the one of some of the best moments in the whole. Thing. Yeah, it's, it's like he's not really much of a comedy show kind of guy. It's more like just um, game shows and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, he just he 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 comes in with like funny bits and situations. Well, it just says random stuff. Comes up with, with little quips. Quip, quick quips. Quick quips. Quip. A witty, a witty gentleman. A witty quip. <laughs> These do look a little bit fucked. But I feel like people don't really mind that much. Keep cutting out for me. Am I cutting out? Yeah. Fucker. Motherfucker. Is this better? Yeah. Or worse or... That's fine. Is yeah. it better? What were you saying? Oh, it's probably just fucking too far away from my mouth. Uh, I was saying, like, just brownies look a bit clapped, like they're a bit collapsed. Ooh. Ooh, poor, oh, no. poor show for me. Yeah. Kicked all the way through. If you've done the, the, clean, the clean fork routine. They're, nah, they came out with fucking roses on the clean fork routine, but. Like, they're wobbly. Just say it's special. Like... I'm going to be like, they're special fudge brownies with coffee. Yeah, exactly. I did put coffee exactly. in them. Might, that might be it, to be fair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> bit too much Whoa. liquid in there. Wobbly yeah, brownies. Wobbly. Wow, wow. <laughs> wobbly. They get the job done? Yeah, yeah I, I'm doubt. Yeah, I, I'm doubt. Dell people we can play. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Look, listen, the brownies should still wobble slightly in the middle as they will continue to cook for a little while when removed from the oven. Oh. Oh. There we go. We fucking win and we stay winning, fellas. You've got your answer, you've done it perfectly. To be fair, if I was to perfectly. make it, I'd just chuff it all together. I probably wouldn't even put it in the oven, I'd just give it to people. I'd <laughs> just be like, it's a, just a mess. Just of like, like pour it down their throat. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a fucking, con- yeah, just a concoction of just brownie mixture. Or maybe... Callum's been selling fucking K2 <laughs> on, the, uh, on the school playground. <laughs> K2. <laughs> 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 it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> As you start off with, once you, that's once, you start that, <laughs> once you start that playground black market, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it all goes downhill from there. No <laughs> 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 fucking, uh, no, blank out the name, blank out the name. But he used to fucking, he used to just buy in a load of 
uh, fizzy drinks from Poundland and just sell them in school. Fizzy what? <laughs> like fizzy drinks. You just buy like a pack of them in Poundland and sell them for terrible prices in in the um, in the yard at school. <laughs> Mate, fucking what a genius! In bank, making some making some good money. Well, you know what I'd like to do. Like you know one. what would be a good business idea. Being like one of yeah. those merchants, like in Skyrim, um, or like Oblivion. You know, like the wandering ones that just go from town to town, like yeah, like the yeah, the Khajiit ones. Yeah, we would just sell like just alcohol. <laughs> just go from town to town, just obscure <laughs> so drinks. Obscure. Yeah, <laughs> to, to to underage people, <laughs> they can't pay me. Yeah. Out. <laughs> Any person can buy the schema from them. They don't. They don't discriminate with their stuff. Yeah. Do they? Do those kids legally sell the schema in Skyrim? I don't know. Or is it just like a little kind of like no, sneaky I'm thing? I'm not sure what the deal is with the fucking schema trade because when you do you do a, qu- a quest in Riften and you have to shut down the like the the schema black market within the within Riften. Yeah. <laughs> S- someone get really? up the the trading stocks of uh, Skooma so I can check how the business is going. <laughs> <laughs> What's it looking like on Trade two on two, yeah. just like buying buying stocks in in fucking Bruma Skooma uh, <laughs> yeah. Like to, like to buy a thousand shares in <laughs> the Skooma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wolf of Wall Street, but it's just fucking buying Skooma. The only drug they do in the film is skooma. But sniffing moon sugar out of my Khajiit ass. Out of a Khajiit hooker's ass. <laughs> That's what uh, you know, the cat yeah. does in Skyrim. Sniffing moon sugar out of a Khajiit hooker's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think you could, you could be a, a stockbroker? Nah, I don't know. I wonder how difficult it is. How hard is it? Yeah, it's one of those yeah. jobs where it's how like it? not obvious if it's hard, but I think it is pretty hard, probably. Yeah, they make it seem like it's fucking pissed in movies. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They're just oh yeah. By that this simple, Buy that. this simple mm. uh, fucking script, and you'll have them, mate. You'll yeah. have them. Yeah. You just gotta sell me this pen. Sell me this pen. Full loads of coke. Sell me this pen. Sell me this pen. I had to do that for a job interview, but it was like one of the products. One of the products. And I had to what, sell. Really? I had to sell him the product. <laughs> Ridiculous. Go on. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no one even How did you sell does it? shit that way. Like, they see it on the shelf, they fucking buy it if they want it. Yeah, I'm not like a car salesman, am I? I'm just like. Buy this car. Buy this car. Well, like, I swear, I think in like some clothes shops, they, I mean, people go to. People like what they like, don't they? Yeah, people just go in and they. Most of the time, people know they want to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But like, well, I think in some clothes shops and stuff, uh, like people go to the actual worker and say, "Oh, what would you recommend?" Which I find so strange. I'm not sure if I'd be able to do that. Yeah. You just have a like, personal style. That's the thing, though. We live in such a like weird consumer state where people buy like things that you're suggested to in shops. Yeah, yeah. Like people are literally mannequins now. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's not, it's like a weird version of like bartender's choice, (laughs) but it's like, (laughs) (laughs) bartender's choice. Yeah, give me the usual, and it's just like, yeah, give me the t-shirt. Yeah. Mate, if there's no, if there's no Long Island iced tea on the menu, we'll take the, uh, the bartender's choice. (laughs) Bartender's choice. Yeah, but Ellie, I think you're right with that. People just need to do their own thing, think for themselves with... Stuff like that, especially. I feel like people are too scared to, like, a lot of the time, people just kind of, like, want to go there for certain things. Yeah, I guess it adds. Yeah, I guess it adds. I guess it adds to, like... Do you reckon, though? 
no, I, I was just gonna say I think people like when they like go out to buy something, the experience is supposed to be like kind of I guess numbing in a sense where you don't really want to think too much about a particular thing, if that makes sense. Oh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, oh, no, I remember. Um, do you reckon though? Because you know you're saying like, all right, people were just buying buying what they recommended and stuff, they really think for themselves. Don't you think the most opinions that people have of, like, say you think you have a really original idea? Yeah. Do you reckon that's not inspired from shit you've seen other people wearing anyway? Yeah, that's true, that's true. That is true. But, like, I think the thing is is that you make that choice, and I feel like people aren't making that choice. They're making the choice to follow other people's, like, suggestions that they yeah. being mindlessly led whereas like if you take an inspiration for somebody at least then you're like applying some kind of sense of um i don't know individuality on it because you're taking yeah. different bits from different people's things yeah. instead of just taking it from one place i guess there's always actually a there's always actually a personal preference involved because if you are inspired by something like that like it shows that you actually look like yourself yeah yeah that's true that is, yeah that's true that is true because if you're making that someone true, decide it <laughs> decide it for you it's you haven't had enough time to be like be influenced by certain like clothes and st- well if you're talking about fashion and stuff um you kind of need to see several people wearing something and then you come to like some conclusion that you like it yeah yeah, but yeah, fact- so it's still like a personal, yeah, still a personal level involved in that. And, uh, I guess there always would be. It's weird because you yeah. you never know where you get your inspiration for stuff from. Yeah, and you don't really know why you, like you, know why you like certain things. I know that sounds no. kind of like it's... stupid. Yeah, Obvious, but... but yeah, no, yeah, no, no. no it's I get what you mean completely. It's like it's it's general statement, but it is true. Yeah, it is very true. One weird, one thing that I do find strange is like, you know, t- like trends in fashion. Like, it's so strange to see it because everyone here, like, loads of girls always have leather jackets on. I, I have to, I like, it was just like weird to see because I was just walking around, like, counting people who were wearing leather jackets <laughs> in the fucking tens, bro. It was nuts. But where does that come from? <laughs> like, what, why do people just suddenly yeah. start wearing leather jackets? So it must have from one anyway, person. It doesn't it like from fucking movies? It, it, but, it reminds me of, um, you know, Skins, where fucking Effie. Effie from oh, Skins. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I think... Generation. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking had such an inspiration on <laughs> all these fucking girls. Yeah, but it's I don't get the... Do I don't get that. It's not like a... Yeah, with, I, I guess with fashion, like, when I say, like, back in the day... Maybe like from the nineties and then like, you go backwards. Like back kind of fashion had more of a cultural impact, I guess. In I'd I'd probably say more impactful way. Like you had your mods and your rockers and stuff like that. And they'd wear certain clothes. Whereas I'd probably mm. say nowadays there is no kind of link. I guess do. yeah. With the, like your mods and ro- rockers and stuff, there was music intertwined with the fashion. Whereas nowadays it's not really like that. There's no like what's it called. There's no culture when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's all kind of like. It's all just one homogenized kind of thing. It's 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 face value. It doesn't have like what's it called. It doesn't have like a a, a meaning to it. So when you'd like see people yeah. also dressed in a certain way, they don't identify as anything. Why are they wearing it? There's no kind of cultural mu- movement with leather jackets. I guess. To like link it yeah. with music it's purely or aesthetic. yeah or anything like that. Mm. I don't know. Probably babbling on. Yeah. Like, no, I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. It's like it's almost like we have become so po- postmodern that now we can't identify like identify with certain subcultures because our culture is just like like a mad kind of homogenized thing where just everything is just kind of like shoved in together. Mm. But it's weird because I reckon eventually it might start happening already. It's like everyone will think that everything's 
too typical, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Every single star at some point will come into a category of, oh, you're just doing that because you're inspired by this or that. So, and mm. I don't know. I don't know if originality will fucking die out at some point. Yeah, I feel like it might, to be fair. No, I, I think it's true. Should we, uh, should we take a little break at the half hour point? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I need to piss badly. Should we, uh, should we take that now? Or? Should we take that now? Or? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Right. Pause. Yeah, we... Nice. Sweet. Right, we're back. Yeah, fucking... I think the, the, like, the problem is is that we've, we've, like, society as a whole has become like a culture vacuum. Because basically, as soon as a culture... Like, I, I can't remember who said it. It was a sociologist. He basically said the culture needs time to um to develop before um it becomes an actual culture. Um but the problem is now it was the same for the mods and the hippie movement and kind of the punks and you know rave and that is capitalism fucking moves in so cultures don't have time to develop and capitalism moves in and capitalizes on those cultures which makes them just like sold out. It's like the who. The who fucking sold the fuck out. And like um so that culture kind of like you know, culture dies off because it, it doesn't have time to develop and become refined. It just like gets killed off. Like the beat movement wouldn't have developed. Like, I think it gradually, um, like with your example of the Who, yeah, they did sell out. But then other people that like the original, like early stuff, um, like I'd probably say like Paul Weller and stuff like that, and the Jam, like they carry on that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. But then again, once it revi- once there's a revival then that dies out again because of yeah, yeah. So I think there's there's some that's pretty why whenever someone seems to find like old stuff about an artist or a band it seems to it, it just seems so much cooler or it seems so much yeah. more interesting than like say just yeah. the shit that's uh, mainstreamed or or like you know well as you sound like capitalised on it's because people like to feel like they're part of something. It's, it's, it goes back to, like, you know, when we're capable yeah, it's like, prim- that tribalism. Yeah, it's people thing, want that right? tribalism. It's the same with, like, the rave scene and stuff. Like, it's just what happens. But, like, um, that's what people want, but they can't, like, achieve it. It's really fucking hard to achieve it because we we become such individuals. We feel connected because we've got phones and saw this fucking globalisation bollocks, but... We're actually like mad fucking individuals. Yeah, that's yeah. the truth. We, I, I say, because of like, just again with like modern technology, I guess that exacerbates it. We're connected, but also we're just like, kind of. There's a certain kind of alienation though with people. It's because it's 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 virtual. There's no sense of belonging and like. And figurative sense, it's just not, it's not really real. Yeah. There's no, the thing is, with phones, there's no need to go out anymore. There's no I guess, need to meet your mates. Yeah, but I guess... Because you can just do it online. So people don't go out. I think, it's more, con- like, I, I I think it's more convenient, because, because I'd probably say, like, you can, like, just talk to your friends over the internet and stuff, but it's always better to meet them face-to-face. And yeah, I think I we think, do... I think, I Anyone think humans agree do. Life, yeah, you? yeah, definitely, definitely. But then, and then again, when people meet up, when people meet up, a lot of the time, you always see people just go on their phones. Yeah, for, no, for like a good. No, that, that pisses me off. Yeah, that's you the know thing. When you yeah, I, I agree. On their phone. Yeah, they're immediately like, they're immediately like, oh, can I get the Wi-Fi code? It's like it's fair enough if you, you have like, a chat with them first. Just like staying overnight and you're talking to someone online or whatever. People do that the first time they come through the door. That's like the yeah. first thing they say. Yeah, it's the first thing on their mind, isn't it? And it shouldn't be, because in reality, yeah, it might be someone you you haven't seen for a couple of weeks. Whereas you think about back before we were so connected, and that people would go and visit each other just in the streets every day. So you think about it's it's about like the freedom that um, that kids used to have. I always think about 
uh, stories from my parents or whatever, where they just signed their parents, just let them out. They'd have a, a deadline to be home by. But it didn't really fucking matter. They'd just go out and do yeah. random shit all day. And they just go and see each other. Yeah, it just seems yeah. so much more like actually living than than just fucking. Uh, yeah. Like when if you see them, like you kind of take it for granted now. Yeah, exactly. But it's like an occasion, wasn't it? Like a proper occasion. I don't know. I feel like again with your example of like back in the day, I guess people were just allowed to go out being a kid and stuff. I feel like nowadays especially with the media there's kind of a fear put in like especially parents and stuff like not to let their kids out i agree yeah it's it's a weird balance of like safety and just like restriction yeah yeah i agree but then yeah i guess the bad side is that it kind of pacifies children to not like go out they're kind of scared in a way i think that's why a lot of there's more people that have like anxiety and stuff like that because I think it's just yeah it's just modern definitely, definitely. yeah modern I was about to say society <laughs> society society <laughs> just ruined just ruined any ruined any credibility what might be <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm. don't worry the the statement still the statement box, still holds like... it's still <laughs> it's like gang weed. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> that I'm statement true. was approved by Gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what what were we, else were we talking about? Oh yeah, the 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 quotes, the inspirational quotes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's another fucking golden thing that just slipped out of existence. <laughs> yeah. Fuck's sake! I'm actually still very annoyed about that, but it's fine. <laughs> we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The Instagram, the the Instagram accounts. Oh man, they crack me up. Fucking choose a Lamborghini <laughs> over a woman. A woman <laughs> won't disappoint you. <laughs> That's so fucking weirdly. Just, well, we're kind of misogynistic, to be honest. Nah, but I think it's just oh, like. Yeah. Just ridi- it's the ridiculous. Like, choose of it. choose yeah. any riches over anything else in your life. Yeah, it is misogynistic, but it's just like There's how no can they be so stupid? Or, or love. It's just no, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no emotions. I think we've we've now become so uber capitalist that we don't even need the fucking nuclear family anymore. We are just like self motivated. Yeah, we're actually self-motivated to the point where we're just like, um, we actually just don't need fucking anything to, yeah, I think, to achieve. I think it's all kind of self-centered now, isn't it? There's no sense of like, mm. I don't know. It's community in the in the weirdest sense. Like they always, especially in Britain, mm. I'd say there's always a sense that. They have to remain upstanding. Do you remember when we went to uh, Dullin's house and then there was that incident outside? Mm-hmm. Um, and then the, the pair, some other yeah. neighbour had to clear it up or something. It's like a weird sense mm-hmm. of community in terms of if you do a bad thing, we're not going to make, we're going to make sure no one sees this, but we're not going to do anything to kind of connect with you, if that makes sense. Name drop Michelle Foucault and the Panopticon. Yeah, but it's it, yeah, yeah. And there's no, it's not, it's not in a good it, like community's supposed to be one of the kind of respites from, I guess, authoritarians and stuff like that. Those powers like police and hello, like hello. jail. Um, hello. <laughs> What happened? Yeah, we, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you, Adam. Oh, but yeah, as I was saying. Yeah, no, just... my, my shit's gone really wrong. Oh, I can't, I can't, lost my train of thought now. Oh fuck me! Whenever I say anything, it just, it just freezes. Lost my train of thought now. So.
Right, I've, I, I think I'm back, but what the fuck was going on? <laughs> that was like a full 30 seconds of just nothing. I couldn't hear anything of you boys that you boys were saying. I didn't know if you could hear me, so I kind of just stayed silent for most of it. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I reckon I need to update my laptop. As long as your thing's still recording, then. Yeah, my thing's recording, it's fine. That's good. Yeah. yeah. My phone's my phone's a lot more trustworthy than my laptop, but I reckon I'd rather have the recording on my phone so that at least there's something, at least there's like a couple of little tidbits of information. <laughs> because if I if I cut out uh, on the Discord for like a few seconds, it's kind of fine because you two can carry on speaking. But if the recording goes, mm. that's like a whole fucking four yeah forty <laughs> minutes of content gone now. <laughs> So that would be that would be detrimental to the cause. Yeah, that'd be hard. that'd be heartbreaking. So ah, oh, for me, I'm so, yeah, I'm so annoyed about the other bit, but we've we've recovered well. Anyway, what were you boys actually? To, what were you saying? We were just saying about community. Just yeah. like there's a kind of a loss of. Well, I don't even know if it was even there in Britain just with people just being nice to each other. No, it was, it definitely was, but like in, in the 80s, in the, even in the 90s, bro, it was lost when we started getting individualised. That's when it was lost. Yeah. Because like, I remember when I was a kid, like my fucking street would like, come out and they talk to each other. Mm. But now we've got phones, we don't need to. But I do think British people just like to look upstanding, like a kind of thin veneer, I guess. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like we're quite preserved, but I reckon we're quite preserved as a nation. So you just kind of have that kind of stiff upper level process to be like unity and social. It's like my mind wasn't like my mate, but it's easy. Like I take, I take the business as seriously. He's not, but like, he looks like one. Elliot was murdered by a serial killer who was his neighbour. The day. Dave Muck serial killer. Yeah, I feel like people have, feel like they have a social obligation to like people and to be polite, but they're, they're behind people's backs. Yeah, there's always chatting shit behind someone's back. When we're talking about like cultures and shit like that, when there's, I find it so strange because I've pretty much lived my whole life in, insert town name here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've not been really much, I've never lived anywhere else, so even when I go just a tiny little distance out to a village, like, you know, those, the villages like Callan, oh, fuck, you know, yeah, yeah. Where, where you live, yeah, <laughs> there's, like, I don't know, it seems, it seems less there than it does, um, uh, yeah, 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 because, like, I've, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know I said it, you can just cut out and it'd be, yeah. like, insert village name. Insert just put, village like, name a shit, name. just put a fart just noise there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fart noise. But, or, like, yeah. a bra. <laughs> Don't they seem like such a close fucking community? Every yeah. single person that lives in that, well, pretty much everyone that lives there knows each other. It's like when you walk through it with someone that lives there, they know fucking almost everyone yeah yeah and i think it's so much different and it's like i reckon most of the reason of that is because they all went to the same primary school because there's only one primary school in the village yeah Yeah. they all know each other i guess i mean it's it's a lot different like i know what two people on my road at most or like like two people in the households and that's about it and i know the the only other people i know it's like people that live elsewhere yeah, I think there is an argument for like having like small, smallish villages and stuff like that. I guess there is a sense of community, but again, I don't know if I'm being like misanthropic, but like 
some something I don't trust about people being too nice, you know. So I, I, I don't know if there's like a w- yeah. No, I, 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 I think it's just it might just be a British thing. It might just be a British thing. Weird, weird bunch. I can't remember. Did, did last podcast did we talk about like races in Britain? Can't remember. Racism in Britain. I feel like not. Yeah, probably. I feel like I'm vastly uneducated about the fucking racism in Britain. I don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a weird, weird thing. It's because they, they don't teach stuff about that, I think. No, it's, I think it's they It's something I don't really hear about a lot either because most of the media that I see online is just about America. Yeah, it's really weird. Strange. Yeah, I, I, don't, I get that as well. It's like CNN is... Yeah, so like, what the fuck's one going on over here, then? One thing that I do find with is, like, um, all, like, on Instagram, it seems to be, like, a lot of right-wing, like, like, media. Yeah, like, no, there, lot, there is, like, a lot of them. Like, like, the, the majority, well, a lot of them are... I follow a few that yeah. go the other way, but, I mean, it just seems, it seems like it, that might be some kind of weird, uh... Propaganda, propaganda thing. Yeah, weird. I don't. I don't understand. I know it's a bit of a shame. I think because I think it's stunting, like young people's ability to make their own decisions, because they get. I. I could probably. I can. I kind of understand why, some young people get dragged into that whole, wormhole of like the right wing, kind of, newspapers and media, because it's something to kind of. Uh, you know form some sort of ideology because you don't really know what you believe in and then you find something that you're like oh still need to like for example i i don't know i've never really positioned myself in any uh any political standing yeah i i don't but I don't. like I've, i'm still yet to have an awakening about it it's it's really it's really weird because you can you can hear so much about one side of it, but at the end of the day, you'll take each situation as it comes, and that's just not how it works when it gets into into actual politics. Yeah, I don't, I don't know with politicians like the whole. I guess it doesn't really count. We don't really have to think about it in the UK as much because, like, I don't know how many years Boris has got in, but with like American stuff. Biden, Trump are just like, there's nothing new, well except Trump, I guess. All these politicians are coming out as people, and people are just like ignoring it. Yeah. Like, yeah. What is that about? It's so fucked. Why are that? It's so, <laughs> how does that just like fly over the radar? That's a huge, yeah. huge thing. And people are just like, like I'll probably just vote like Biden because I don't really like Trump, and then yeah. they're just ignoring yeah. him, like whispering to like thirteen-year-old girls and shit. It's because he's it's, it's money, it's power, it's power. Nothing will change. Nothing will change. Nothing will change. Even if, even if by yeah, if Biden gets in, nothing will change. I think. I think. It, I think it, change just depends on time. And yeah. There's not the the thing is, you don't want to just depend on that because when you depend on time, there's a lot of shit that can happen in between. You're like, I don't want. I don't want to wait for <laughs> things to get better because people are fucking on the line. If you know what I mean. Mm. Sorry, Ellie, I thought you were going to say something then, but I'm not sure. I don't think there's been any, like, good kind of political movements in years. I think it all... So, like, it's kind of died off. I think it comes from not even politicians making much of a change. Not, like, your prime ministers or presidents. I think it does come from people and, like, forming movements. Like, in the 60s and, like, the 70s oh. and stuff like that. It came from people, not just like your politicians, and that forced they forced politicians to change because they were just yeah, doing like, their own thing that no one liked. Yeah, that's 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 the thing, and like I think feel like the problem is now is that people have like kind of like token activism where they're just like they share something on their story, they feel fulfilled by that. Yeah. So they don't actually act, and that's the thing is that people aren't actually acting. Anymore. So fuck yeah. It's not like actual activism or whatever. I did find it sickening with the whole um, George Floyd thing. I with 
with just go, with with just like people posting it, reposting posting, posting the video of him like clearly in a lot of pain. Like it fucking went everywhere, and that's all people saw about yeah. it. It's not really. I don't know. It didn't really <laughs> it's just like it. people saying with fucking, the caption, caption, "We need to we stop need this." To stop. It's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. what are you gonna, what are you gonna contribute to it? <laughs> it's like, all right, dur- during the the like the period of about a month or like a couple months, pretty much everyone saw it. Yeah. And yet, not really any change has happened. And yet, it's been yeah. fucking ages. So yeah, you think? Happened. What happened to that Brianna Taylor thing? Yeah, that got. This, this it's all being... I swear they got arrested. All of these people got arrested or like charged, but they net like I don't think anyone got put in jail. The, it's the system. Well, <laughs> it sounds it sounds cringy again. Oh, it's the system. Society. It's the system. You can't trust the system. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. Yeah, but like the. Is systematic oh, racism. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't I get what you're saying. In a, in a way, it's, it's not something that can just be fucking changed instantly. It's like a breakdown and rebuild kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, I feel like there will be a revolution eventually. I reckon it will happen soon. It's because people are starting to see through people's like lies through the see The paedophile thing. The Black Lives Matter stuff, all that kind of shit. People are seeing the world is fucking run by morons. This is people are going to start kicking off. This, this podcast is gr- ground zero for the revolution. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is where Gramsci's fucking Gramsci's, yeah. Gramsci's theory of fucking what's it called organic <laughs> intellectuals. Would it, intellectuals Stalin, Trotsky, and Lenin <laughs> all in the, all in. The, Mate, it's the fucking it's the fucking butterfly theory. <laughs> one little one little change in anyone's perspective that hits this yeah. podcast yeah. Could, could start a whole wave of yeah. uh, a whole wave of change. <laughs> it's got to happen though. It's got to happen. We just need to we need to fucking you know start it up because the thing is, is that people are just too lazy. Yeah, but pe- too lazy. people do have too, jobs though. Too comfortable. Too comfortable. But people do have to. Yeah kind of work and stuff and it's yeah, like they're it's like it's like your livelihood or it's a hard yeah, one and that, that's why yeah. it's that's why it's so uh fucking dangerous because uh people depend on this system that's so yeah yeah, yeah. No, but like, I, i'm not arguing against the system of like chasm what i'm arguing against is you know the dismissal of the working classes and poorer people because like we're not getting a fair fucking deal like people aren't getting treated how they should be treated. We're getting treated like mm. lesser, lesser beings. And why should we be peons for people that don't care about us? Hey, we keep in power every year. It's nuts. That's my, that's my two cents. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I think... The little, the little saying, that's my two cents. Yeah. yeah. I think with I Brexit, Brexit as well, well. It's, it's, a, it's a main reason why we kept the Tories in, wasn't it? Yeah, and look, they did fuck all. Yeah. No deal! <laughs> no deal! No deal! That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's we don't need a deal for you bloody Europeans. <laughs> I think I solved my uh, my Discord problem. Whenever I leave the mouse for too long, it goes weird, and then it comes back, and it's fine if I move the mouse again. Good. Mm. Good job. Solved. Solved. That was a fucking pretty intense, intense discussion. Should we? Yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. Should we take another break or? Yeah, let's take a break. I need to go and sell some fucking edibles. I need these people to come around so I can see. So and so. Oh mate, I wish I could fucking buy one from them. <laughs> <laughs> mate, <laughs> fucking you can, you can. I'll just send one up to you. I'll send one up to you. In the no, I just cannot have that. I cannot have that coming through my fucking front, What's front this? door. <laughs> yeah, but. I feel like Elliot sent me some brownies. That's so fucking conspicuous. <laughs> they literally won't know what it is though. That's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> Oh, let let me uh let me try a bit, Aiden. That looks really tasty actually. No. 
Oh, no, oh, no. Nah. She would sleep for Mate, a week. Fucking... I can have that. Tristan's <laughs> dog. Tristan's dog, like, fucking munched on one of his firecracker edibles. Ate, like, the whole thing. Oh, no, it was a cheese straw. Ate the whole fucking thing and was actually just fucked. He was, like, laying on his back asleep. Did everybody else clap? Yeah, I clapped. So, yeah, it fucking was cool. We were just talking about, in the break, the Vietnam War. And how war will probably be like the Vietnam War nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, we just thought it'd be very messed up if our generation had to go to war. Oh man, it'd be so fucked. So there are people that are kind of like prepared for it. You know, when you can, I know people uh, over the last couple of years or so have like joined the army and that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, they do training and stuff, but what will they? What will they actually be doing? I don't. I know fuck all about what the army does now. I think it's just it, they know. go to just like. Like yeah, it? I think mm. it's just go to bases around like Europe and stuff, and yeah. across the world, just sit there. That doesn't but, seem that interesting or important. Nah, nah. But they keep the peace. They keep the Taliban. Yeah. Yeah. You don't understand. You can't <laughs> keep giving them millions. You don't understand. <laughs> You're just a kid. You're only sixteen years old. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not big on. Join, join the army. Oh, it, would be, nah. it would just be. Talk about. Yeah, yeah, I'd just decline. I'd be like, no, no, this isn't happening. No. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I decline. And they'll be like, oh, of course, you decline, that's fine. That's <laughs> It'd be like the, uh, the, the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mate, we've already made that reference. We made that reference last week. <laughs> it's, it's gonna come this up. is so good. Nah, it's yeah. going to be a fucking running, running back. reference throughout all the podcasts. Just a little callback, man. No. Yeah. Yeah. Unknown <laughs> callback. Cast it into the fire. Destroy it. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You <laughs> know. I need some of those films again. Wait, when you come down, that's what we should do. I'm oh, fucking talking about this. We should watch Marathon. fucking all of the Lord of the Rings and just like record our fucking <laughs> reaction. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. We should... Oh, and it's drop acid. <laughs> oh, that would be <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I can hear the. Oh fuck, oh, I said your name. Oh well, you can blank it out. That's, they already know, they already know my name. Yeah. <laughs> He's, famous. Name, yeah, He's famous. He's famous around these parts. <laughs> yeah, my name is not in these parts. I've never been to a couple. Your name is Baron Zaya Acropolis the second. Fucking, fuck yeah, it is the bard, man. Yeah, where is that, is that your, was that your D&D name? That is my D&D oh, name. Oh, I thought so, I thought so. That's pretty sick. Oh, I still wish I could have done that. We could, uh, hmm. If we have enough people, we could just fucking do a little one between ourselves, if you know enough about it. We yeah. could do, mate, yeah, we could, because I've been writing them. Mate, nice. that'd be so fun. We could, we could fucking record it. <laughs> Upload it. <laughs> D&D podcast. Isn't it? <laughs> just like, a, it'd be like an off podcast. Like, for, for D&D. Yeah. The Special D&D series, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That'd be quite funny, actually. My flatmates are back. Yeah, come on. Right, two seconds, fellas. Carry on. Yo. What's good? Yeah, that's no, the one. No. That's the one. Because of the cat, obviously. 
Cat in the Boots. Cat in the Boots. Cat in the Boots. Cat in the Shrew. Cat in the Shrew. Cat in the Shrew. Cat in the Shrew. Bit of a hodgepodge. Yeah, half will be enough, definitely. I tell you, I tell you. Nice little, uh, nice little, nice little, nice little sideshow on the <laughs> podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, are you up to now, man? <laughs> <laughs> you should take a call out. Really? Yeah, no, I, I don't mind, it's fine. Not my <laughs> These it's edibles ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. I've, com- I've completely said it. Sure. 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 Manifestation. Yeah, reassurance of the fact that I'm completely sober. Well, I'm going to read through this tonight. No, write some notes about what you think. Write notes? Yeah. I'll do it in pencil so you can rub it out. No, do it in um, bullet. Bullet points like um, pencil. Fuck yeah, I'll definitely do that. I like this shit a lot. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. Have fun. See you tomorrow. Next year. See you next year. Nice little. Shave me Bukowski. Shave me Bukowski. How could you not? No, hey, look. Look. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Go on Discord quickly. Look. Put your camera on. I'm putting my camera on. Yo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. I think I've got that. I've Bones. got that one. I've got that one. I'm going to read through it. Yeah, I've got that. I've got that one. Yeah, that was the one that I gave um, Lost Love poems. Anyway, I don't know if that will pick up on the mic. I don't know if I'll leave that in. Probably not. I'll leave it in, it. that's so funny. Yeah, it's funny, I could hear it pretty clearly. That's why I'd be savvy. That's because you were in my headphones, but my laptop was on my desk. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried that they, don't, they won't pay me. Surely they They will, they will. They'll pay up. They will pay. I heard you say, like, if you don't feel it, you can have your money back. Yeah. <laughs> they will. They will. They will. They will. Oh, that, that's they will. just like a figure of speech. It's like, no one ever. Yeah, say it so they don't get nervous. Yeah. Fucking hell, Aiden. You were actually tuning in. He's puffing. Yeah, sorry about that. That was a, bit, that was a pretty big, uh, that was a pretty big, <laughs> big rip. Yeah, big, big rip. Big <laughs> rip. Behavior. Yeah. Is this the uh, fruity one they have? <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, she plays in my D and D campaign at the run. Nice. Oh my! Oh, so you're already running one? Yeah, no. You yeah, I'm already running one running. for my flatmates. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the only thing though. If you were running it, you wouldn't be able to fucking take part in it. See if you're the dungeon master. I'm the DM. I don't mind it though. Oh, these are pain. Fuck me. I've actually outdone myself. They're gonna be jizzing. <laughs> Put some extra <laughs> shit in it. <laughs> extra, <laughs> extra shite. Extra human shite. Fill, fill with them down for them. <laughs> Listen to this fucking shit. I've got beef to pick with fucking BBC Good Food, you fucking pop bourgeois <laughs> fuckers. They do? Yesterday, I fucking walked. <laughs> I bought a fucking, um, a bag, I bought a bag of weed, not a bag of coke, to put in brownies. I then proceeded to cook the weed, as I usually do, and I went through the infusion process using exactly the fucking ingredients, the exact fucking weights of ingredients that they said on BBC Good Food. Bear in mind that usually I just eye that shit up. I just eye that shit up. I never fucking use scales because I don't have any. But there was some on the table, I don't know whose they were, but I used them. So, I do it exactly, by the fucking book, and they came out fucking clapped. They did not cook at all, they were like <laughs> fucking gummy and shit. So I wasted like 40 quid, because I had to buy ingredients as well, 40 fucking quid, on a batch of brownies that I had to throw in the bin. Oh my god, Jesus. Yup. 
fucking fucking BBC fucking good food. BBC they're normally, fucking they're coming normally my all fucking right. face, they're bro. BBC good food is normally okay. Yeah, I thought they'd be all right. They're good for like what's called like pancakes. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much it to be honest. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> time I ever want that. Not good for food. Like, that's the only thing I make pancakes. I'm gonna read you some of Bukowski poems. <laughs> oh. This is the poetry reading now. <laughs> this is the poetry poetry Another segment. Okay. <laughs> when Hugo Wolf well, when... <laughs> Okay. When Hugo Wolf went mad. Hugo Wolf went mad <laughs> while eating an onion and writing his two hundred and fifty third song. It was raining, April, and the worms came out of the ground, humming Tannhauser, and he spilled his milk with his milk with his ink and his blood fell out on the altar walls and he howled and he roared and he screamed and downstairs his late landlady said I knew it that rotten son of a bitch has dummied up his brain he's jacked off his last piece of music and now I'll never get the rent you need to so read it like Bukowski you can't do it in your little like fairy tale voice <laughs> alright I'll, I'll find fairy a new one I'll find a new one. <laughs> little fairy tale <laughs> <laughs> your little fucking elven story it's not like yeah books. it's not like Jump. reading off Fucking words were Charles Bukowski. <laughs> Sitting in a dark bedroom with three junkies, female, <laughs> brown paper like bags that. filled with trash are everywhere. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. They talk about madhouses, hospitals. They are waiting for a fix. None of them work. It's relief and food stamps and medical. Men are usable objects towards the fix. It is 1.30 in the afternoon, and outside small plants grow. Their children are still in school. The females smoke cigarettes and suck listlessly on beer and tequila, which I have purchased. I sit with them. I wait on my fix. I am a poetry junkie. They pulled Ezra through the streets in a wooden cage. Blake was sure of God. Villain was a mugger. L- Lorca sucked cock. T.S. Eliot worked to tell his gauge. Most poets are swans. Egrets. I sit with three junkies at 1.30 in the afternoon. Smoke pisses upward. I wait. Death is nothing jumbo. One of the females says that she likes my yellow shirt. I believe in a simple violence. This is some of it. <laughs> Charles Bukowski. <laughs> Mr. Bukowski. That's Mr. Bukowski to you. <laughs> That's Mr. Bukowski. But there's a fucking bit in um, there's a bit in fucking Ham on Rye that he goes into like really graphic detail about popping his pus like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fucking that happened. Yeah, that's in woman as well. They look like disgustingly gross. graphic. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. They just like put needles into them and then suck, suck it out. Oh, <laughs> gross. Mhm. Well, yeah. Fucking Charlie Bukowski. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Has anybody seen the new Borat film? No, I want no, to see that. Not yet. My dad's seen it, and he said it was pretty funny. That's classic. Kev. I, I like classic to hear. Uh, well, I've heard a couple of bits about it. Um, the guy that they tricked using the actor, and mm. they oh yeah, pro- proved he's fucking beautiful. Honey trap. Was it Honey the? Trap. Was it one of the lawyers? Yeah, sure. Rudy Giuliani, I think. Mm. Mm. Mayor Giuliani. Yeah, Mayo. Like that's Mayo. <laughs> that's Mayo, though, you, <laughs> buddy. Nah, he was just. Yeah, I don't know, Tucking in talking. his pants. Yeah, mate, he was just tucking his shirt in, lying, lying down. Lying down, <laughs> yeah. Looking at yeah, her in the most fucking disgusting way. That's all, that's all he was doing, man. That's all. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, that's so sweet that she brought me that book. The Return of the King. It's nice to hear your voice again. I've waited all day long. Even wrote a song for you. It's strange the way you make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> this is the singing section. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, to be fair, we made that. We made that thing fucking last time. Um, well, we last didn't... week, so I'm just following through. Call back. Did we do Morrissey oh, last time? We did Morrissey, and then Dylan said it would be good to have a bit where Ellie just sings for like five seconds. <laughs> With the introduction. I didn't even. Yeah, I only just remembered that I fucking did that. So it could be like the intro song to the the podcast. You fucking just having a little saying. <laughs>